Hey guys, how are you doing? Just want to show you real quick. Got a couple new babies in. Got this really cool sprint run para tool. You guys know that I love para tool. Just perfect, perfect knife. One of my favorites. I think one of the best, one of the best knives on the market. Uh, got this in really cool trade, and uh, I love it. It's the third one I have. I kind of wish I didn't sell one. I had one before that was uh, that was perfect, and I did that little thing with the Digigam scales that I made them jade and <laughs> I kinda wish I didn't sell them, I'm obsessed with paras, I just love it and <laughs> it's one of those things and I got this finally I mentioned in yesterday video and the uh, microtags are kinda funny with me because I was never a big fan of microtags but like a while back I thought they were really expensive, you know, kinda overpriced but you know what, in all honesty uh, they are great, great knives, they are very well built Nice designs, very attractive looking designs. I'm not crazy about the SOCOM, SOCOM Elite and those SOCOM Delta or whatever they called. But pretty much everything else I like. And uh, they make really fine knives. Perfect, really good to tolerances, nice designs like the inlays and stuff. And main thing what I love about Microtex is their grinds. They have really, really good grinds, nice and fine. One of the best, like, finest grinds on the production knives. And... You know, just that alone for me is worth the money. And their action is just perfect. It kind of blows the screws, but I can kind of understand it. You know, they probably don't, just don't want to... It does look cool, and they probably don't want people to mess around with them. So, I understand it. And that's not much that you would want to do with the knife anyway. And uh, I've handled a bunch of microtags that were years and years old, and they were perfect, you know. There was no need to mess around with it anyway. The screws don't get loose and I think they are good knives and I think actually notice that they are coming down on prices they actually have pretty competitive prices with some other high-end production knives or production it was probably considered production or even a mid tag maybe they are pretty sweet they're gonna be coming out with that uh, Microtech Strider collaboration production run which will be really cool and again like yes it's expensive knife but Pretty, pretty fairly priced. I'm gonna show you this one. I grounded this one today. Finished this one. I just have to make the sheet tomorrow. Kind of new design, a little bit. Uh, went to the drop, kind of like the tough nose Raptor, but I changed the blade shape a little bit. I did the straight. This one doesn't have the edge on, so I did the straight and then the original belly, what it, what it has to begin with. So it has almost kind of like a, almost like I would say. Uh, almost like a Japanese Tanto style because it's straight and then it kind of changes the angle completely it doesn't go doesn't go naturally into it but uh, it's a little the angle is a little different on that one you would see on Japanese Tanto blades and uh, it actually looks like highly polished but it is and it's just like nice nice satin finish it is just like shiny but you see that it has just nice satin finish uniform and then you have the horizontal same same grid same finish on the top the grinds came out nice and even on both sides like one of the best ones i think so far just looks perfect and i did this i know a lot of you guys will like it i nailed the switch pretty good on it just like nice and uniform almost almost perfect i would say really really close to perfect they kind of meet here they, it goes just slightly over that connection point you see there is little like it's not perfect perfect it's kind of when I was cleaning it it's some little scra scratch lines there but that's super minor but getting a little better with every blade learning new tricks and how to position the blade I like this a lot and it that has that again the toxic green and black one by one layering which came out pretty sweet again I like that Nice and beefy blade, uh, I mean handle, and also very comfortable. And beat blasted again. I just like this. I really need to get the stronger air compressor, bigger air compressor, because it takes me forever to beat blast this. It literally has to recharge like eight, eight times, nine times for me to do the two sides of the handle. It's kind of funny. But I like it. Look at you how you can see those layers. You can feel them like a finger like a fingerprint almost. I really like it. So I don't know what you think about the blade shape. 
I, I think I like the regular one a little better when the belly keeps going on my regular design like a tough nose but this one is pretty cool too it has that little different shape just to change it up a little bit and uh, the swedge looks cool I'm not a big swedge guy but I did put it there because I wanted to see if I can do it nice I was kinda begging for it there with that little little snub nose there, tough nose so hope you enjoyed it guys, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.